So this is going to be a Black Knight early tutorial. Let me get my cursor on screen. And so I started a new game because I want to show you also how to get to the area to practice it. What you're going to do is you're going to start by entering the all warp gates cheat code, which is um, BBX, BBX, BXXX on PlayStation. I mean, yeah, on that's on GameCube. It's BBX, BBX, BXXX. Um, and you hold down the left and right triggers in the pause menu to enter cheats. On Xbox, that's going to be XXB, XXB, XBBB. Again, that's XXB, XXB, XBBB. And on, um, on PlayStation, you have to hold down all four triggers. And it's going to be... Crap, what's... Well... Where's my PlayStation controller so I can look at it? I don't know. It's I think it's circle, circle, square, circle, circle, square, circle, circle, circle. No. Circle, circle, square, circle, circle, square, circle, square, square, square. Um, that should be, circle should be on the left side. Whatever button's on the left, I think it might be square. I don't know. I've never owned a PlayStation. Then, before you enter the cheat code for all inventions, you got to warp to cower in the tower. That way, the invisible wall that prevents you from jumping up to um, this area up here is still there because you didn't enter the room with um, galoshes. Then um, you should probably look up <clears throat> look up the cheats as this one's much longer than the warp gate one and I'd rather not try to explain what it is on each controller. And then once you have all inventions you'll notice see this invisible wall is still there which is what you want. So then you're going to come down here, you're going to activate this fan, you get this nice um, this nice cutscene to sit through. Now this fan is um, super helpful for doing it multiple times, and I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get it first or second try. This trick isn't too great, but you'll get to see like me recovering from it as well as my setup. So I'm going to pretty much try the trick first and then I'll explain what I'm doing and I got it first try what are the odds of that okay so what you're essentially trying to do in this um, in this skip is you're gonna get on this banister here you want to get an, an <clears throat> you want to get enough momentum along the banister so that when you fall off Scooby is high enough and far enough that he can hit the invisible ledge up um, over here. So, hold on. Let me see if I can get a good view of this. So, if you look over here, this area, there's a little invisible ledge like there that you're going to hit. Let me just click on this to make sure that I'm... There's an invisible ledge like right there that you're going to hit, right at the edge there. And an invisible wall starts around here. I should probably look at my stream so I can tell if um, I actually can see my cursor. Anyway, there's an invisible ledge like right here. And there's an invisible wall right here, not ledge. And you want to fall off right before it here. And as soon as Scooby falls off, that's when you're going to do... Um, that's when you're going to do the jumps to get up to the to the area. So I like to start Scooby right here so that when he's sort of when he's like held together like this, like he's barely on this middle part where the bars are like broken off. And then you're going to get a running start with your helmet. And you're going to jump. And what I use as setup is the first jump goes about to the clue here. And the second jump should take you up above. There's a window up there. There's, you, I can't see it from here. Hold on, I'll try to pause after my first jump. Let's see if you can still see it. Yeah, see, my second jump takes you up to here. Um, and there's this line that goes across. And you'll notice this part coming down here. When I get to about there, that's when I do the super smash and try to land on the 
the invisible platform over here. Let me see if I can do it one more time. It's relatively precise, and the hardest part is getting the angle down that you want to hold your control uh, control stick at to get the jump itself. So see, that angle felt good, but I didn't... I hit the invisible wall, so I didn't do it properly. My title is horribly wrong on Twitch, which bothers me. Oh, that was close. That angle was off. I was too close to the camera there. Uh, learning... Learning BKS. I super smashed too early there. Learning BKE X. Hopefully that updates. Probably won't knowing my Twitch. So again, just gonna go for a running start here. Jump, jump. Oh, that angle I screwed up. I had it right and then I moved over. Oh, also be careful because you can soft lock in this room if you don't do it right. Start one, two. Oh, that felt good. I don't know what I did wrong. Try to get it at least one more time for the video. Can't believe I got it first try. This is, um. This is used in two runs. One of them is the, a main category. The other one's a miss category. The two runs it's used in is all monster tokens. It's used to get the Black Knight token early. And in all bosses, it's used to get uh, Black Knight early, as the name suggests of BKS, which is Black Knight skip in all monster tokens. BKE, which is Black Knight early in all bosses. And also, as you can see, a general way to get back up faster is using the umbrella to get that fan. You can do it in Hundo, but if you don't do it first try in Hundo, as Baz points out to me in chat, um, if you don't do it first try in Hundo, it's not worth it, because the amount of time it saves is, like, minuscule. Especially since you have to backtrack here later anyway, because there's a snack and an invisible wall. And there it is again. Oh, I don't know how I got that snack in the invisible wall. I guess you don't have to backtrack here. I guess you can just walk up to the snack on this side. But... When I did it in my hundo, I didn't get that snack and I had to backtrack for it. I'm gonna go for it one more time, try to explain it as I'm doing it. The running start, as you drop off, you wanna jump and then super smash. Oh, really? There's a gate you can't get out of and, oh yeah. No, I think you can get out of that gate. I'm pretty sure there's something. I know I've done it in Hundo before, so... Maybe it was just to get a warp gate, though. I don't know. Well, after this, I'm going to try it now. Because I'm pretty sure I've done it before. I'm pretty sure I've done it before, though, Baz. Right. 
Aww. Okay, well, this has pretty much been Black Knight early. I mean, I'm probably gonna get it one more time and then give up, but... Not the easiest skip in the game. But, you know, definitely a useful one, as it skips a ton of the manor. I'll cut back in when my, um, when I get the skip again, which is right there. So never mind, I won't even cut out. This has been Black Knight Early. If you're doing all monster tokens, you get that. If you're doing all bosses, you come around this invisible wall here. And, yeah, I'll try to outline it with Scooby's feet. You see it? You come around that invisible wall there, and you go out and fight the Black Knight. Thank you for watching, as always. Like, follow, subscribe, whatever it is you do. And have a good one.